Keep watching this series kids stories as actor the hermit crab crawled along the sandy shallows of the lagoon he noticed a strange shadow from across the small hill and valleys of the sand it got bigger and bigger and bigger what a great catch larry hid to the cross in the boat we now have over 100 hermit crab 50 starfish and who knows how many snails to sell to the pet shop. Let's go and deliver our precious cargo. About one week later, Tammy and Jimmy were shopping with their mom at a new plaza that had just opened in their town. It was a nice plaza and built just across the street from small beach, a lagoon and the big blue beautiful ocean. They liked to shop with their mom but today was different. All of the stores were new and their new mom was shopping for a special gift and had told them that they couldn't buy anything. They were not bored but they were definitely not happy. Jimmy mumbled as he walked another shoe store on look. More dresses, pots and pants. Just what but I need, Jimmy Tammy said, it's hard enough as it is without listening to you complain. I don't like being here anymore. Then you, but you didn't hear me grumbling. What are you doing now? Jimmy asked. Their mom smiled and just kept on walking through the maze of stores. We are almost there, she said. Almost where? asked Jimmy. Almost at another shoe store, bluttered Jimmy. Actually, their mom said, I was thinking of a new pet shop. It's supposed to be the best in the area. It has a giant aquarium with all kinds of fishes, even a shark. There are birds, dogs, cats, lizards and more and more. It's almost like a zoo. I thought you could spend some time there while I got that special gift. Well, this changed everything. Tammy and Jimmy were new for now, excited and couldn't wait to go to the pet shop. As they went around the next corner, there it was, a huge door with a giant sign, the amazing animal emporium. As they walked through the door, they couldn't believe their eyes. They there right in the middle of the store was an aquarium that was bigger than any swimming pool they had ever seen. They walked around the pier into the water and saw all sorts of creatures. Look at all the clownfish, Tammy said. Well, they better swim fast. Look at that shark, Jimmy replied. Oh, they were amazed. There's some to be very every type of fish and sea creature right in the middle of the store. This truly was an amazing pet shop. Let's see what else is there, yelled Jimmy as he walked off to explore. They were amazed at the animals that were for sale and each type of animal had its own room. The door with the sign glitters and all sorts of short snakes. The pond had frogs, roads, and giant rainfalls across, and spiders, and chips, and hundreds of different birds. There were rooms for cats, dogs, hogs, and more. I wonder what's the little critter's Tammy said. There is only one way to find out, Jimmy replied as they walked in together. As they looked all the small and sometimes unusual animals, they were amazed that people had these as pets. There were mice, chimpanzees, small starfish, snails, clams, beetles and all the things small. Look at this, squealed Tammy. A hermit crab, cool, replied Jimmy. Although the crab didn't do much, they watched with fascination as it crawled over the sand and rocks. Once in a while, it would start to come out of its shell and then quickly pop back in a cover its face with the sign. Club. He's looking for a new and bigger shell for his home, said their mom. I'm glad. I was able to find you 
to this place is big. Tammy looked at the crab and said, Bye, Hector, we will miss you. Jimmy waved to him and turned to walk away. As the three were leaving, they heard tapping on the glass. I don't believe this, said their mom. That crab is saying goodbye to you too. I guess we will just have to buy him and have a new pet. Now the fun began. They had the salesperson's cat Hector since Tammy already named him and put him into a box. Then they bought him a new cage, hammered crab, bedding, several shells, swimming pool, water, dish, special food, some rocks and everything Hector needed to be at home. In their home, Tammy and Jimmy took excellent care of Hector and their mom was happy to see that they were so responsible with their little friend. But as time passed, Hector seemed to be less and less happy. After all, no matter how miss his human friends were, he didn't have any friends of his own kind. Hector missed his family and the open spaces of the lagoon that he was accustomed to. One morning, Jimmy and Tammy decided that although Hector was a good pet, he deserved things they couldn't give him. Mom, Tammy said from across the room, can we let Hector go? Don't you think in any more? She inquired, of course we do, said Jimmy, but he isn't happy here and sitting him free would be the best for him. Hmm. Their mom thought Tammy and Jimmy are very unselfish and very smart. I am so proud of them. Later that day, their mom took Tammy, Jimmy, Hector and all of the Hector's things to the lagoon across from the plaza. Tammy carefully took Hector from his cage and placed him in the sand next to the shallows. Jimmy put his swimming pool and rocks in the sand and their mom placed his food dish securely between two rocks. As they left them in empty cage, they thought they heard a fan tapping on rock. They turned to see Hector and several other helmet crabs slowly crawling into the shallows. A true act of love is ensuring that everyone is